You! Get me out of this town city! We have no time for stragglers. Wait! Get me out of here! I can help you! Good. Eyes up, and don't look back. If you leave me, I'm dead. Please! Dora. What? Stop! Not another stepper up! Wait. You're the one who left me to die on the ship. Suddenly you see what she sees. Feel what she feels. Anger. Bitterness. A will to survive. Ah! Did you feel that? You've got the same thing. In your head. If I were to guess, the things they put in our eyes. We'll need to find a healer to help us. But first, we'll need to survive the wilderness. I'd hoped there might be useful supplies through here, but no luck getting in so far. I was thinking the same thing. Around the top of this cliff, perhaps. Hopefully there's no more of these creatures along the way. Or just company for our final moments. But you're right. Whatever lies ahead will be a little less daunting with support. You can call me Shadowheart. Lead the way. is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. In my... Pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws near. I imagine you must have questions. We should talk. You were lucky I managed to catch up with you when I did. We're both lucky, in fact. That doesn't matter. What matters is how it can help us against the monsters in our heads. I don't know how, but this artifact is protecting me from whoever controls our parasites. You won't get much farther without it shielding you. Trust me. You need me at your side.
The artifact is being hunted, and so I'm being hunted. The Absolute Forces want it, Githyanki Raiders want it. I can't afford to get rid of it, but I can't protect it alone either. I'm lucky to have made it this far. That voice we heard. All sorts are flocking to its banner, worshipping it as a god. Humans, goblins, and many more. It's given them a common purpose. And they're building an army in its name. Very. So what do you say? Lead the way. Something the matter. Wait. <laughs> it hurts. A joyous little affliction that visits me with screaming agony on occasion. I'd be lying if I told you I know what causes it. But don't worry. Can't hurt you. Only me. It's... Just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is y your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! Stop wasting time, Beretha. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to... No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. I hate to be negative, but those gifts will carve you up like a goose. Your skull pounds in response to the Githyanki's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move. Do you hear her voice? You, stay put and keep your lips sealed. Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh! Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding, for I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Lazel. Lazel. Proud. Regal, even. You will call me Gestil Kithrak. Vos, Knight Supreme. The Queen's Silver, the Queen's Sword. I am who you say. A Geich vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the sacred runes of our people. Take word to your creche. You are to join our search. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. My mandate, Gestil Kithrak, is to locate this creche. I was infected aboard a Geish ship and need to be purified. Your mandate is to aid me. Purified? Oh, Lazel, why must the truth be so bitter? Soon your skin will go grey and your blood will run silver. You will shed your skin to become Gek. Only in death are the infected cleansed. But you were on the Nautiloid. You possess what I seek. You will give it to us. Then you will bend your head for the sword. 
Stand down, knight. I do not have what you seek. Our queen's word binds me. Beretha, see her skull split and her corpse examined. I will take word to Queen Vlakith. Our quest has ended. A current of deception carries Voss's words. Wherever he flies, it is not to Vlakith. To Danos, to the sky! Shkaketh, I have followed protocol. He does not speak for Vlakith. I will be pure. I will join my queen. Your skull briefly aches, and you are her. You feel the woman's anger at the dragon rider she'd confronted. I remember. You are on the Gaath, the Nautiloid. You carry a tadpole. You note the look in her eye, the slight tilt of her head. She is sizing you up. Yet even a feared Sarth could not break you in battle. Yes, you may be of considerable use. I know of a cure. Lend me your skills, and I will take you to it. Here's a Kithrak, a Githyanki knight. He is also a traitor. He denies the Queen's protocol and calls for my head. He says death is the only path to purification. I know this to be a lie. My cure, our cure, awaits us at a crash. It is a polyhedric device marked with gith runes, if the kithrak is to be believed. I know nothing more. No gith text describes such a weapon. I am not certain it even exists. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. A Githyanki Kresh must be near. Its gust still has the means to cleanse us. Search these corpses for a map. And beware the skies. We are watched. from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws. I imagine you must have questions. We should talk. You're lucky I managed to catch up with you when I did. We're both lucky, in fact. That doesn't matter. What matters is how it can help us against the monsters in our heads. I don't know how, but this artifact is protecting me from whoever controls our parasites. You won't get much farther without it shielding you. Trust me. You need me at your side. The artifact is being hunted, and so I'm being hunted. The Absolute Forces want it, Githyanki Raiders want it. So it is you the Kithraki come for. This artifact is valuable. The knights will be relentless in their pursuit. I can't afford to get rid of it, but I can't protect it alone either. I'm lucky to have made it this far.
Never mind how I got it, just be glad I have it. For now, let's just help each other. What do you say? Take that back, right now. What are you doing here? Are you following me? She hastily tucks away an ornate box, one covered in strange symbols you don't understand. If I wanted a tail, I'd kill a cat. It's a hypothetical. At present, I have no particular need to kill a cat. So again, what are you doing here? Fair point. Survival is the crux of it for now. I suppose you came here for the same reason I did. Precisely. We need someone who can help rid us of these things. But we'll have no such luck in this place, from what I've learned of it. All just company for our final moments. But yes, you look like a better choice than a band of helpless refugees. Call me Shadowheart. Lead the way. You feel the woman's anger at the dragon rider she'd confronted. <laughs>